Good morning and welcome to the ADS Securities Markets Update. It's a, busy, it's a busy day today with many economic leaders across the day and likely to have a major impact on the markets. Beginning with the Asian session today, there were a collection of economic leaders from New Zealand, Australia and China which had a notable impact on the market across the session. Beginning with in New Zealand, the building permits came in much better than expected, rising by 10% in November comparing to a rise of 9.8% and this is also the second monthly increase in a row and the biggest monthly increase since December of 2013. These figures also boosted the Kiwi gains across the board while the Kiwi dollar advanced or is struggling to break above 7840 resistance, resistance areas. In Australia, the economic leaders also came in with a disappointment today. The uh, AIG construction index shrank further for the second month in a row, declining toward 44.4 down from 45.4 during the month of December. And this is also the lowest uh, level since January of last year. Furthermore, the retail sales also came in less than expected, rising by only 0.1% in November, comparing to rise of 0.4% in October while it had been anticipated to rise by at least 0.4% and this is also the weakest retail sales in almost three months. In China the economic releases came in with mixed outcomes. The year-over-year -year CPI or the inflation figures also increased toward 1.5% in December up from 1.4% as widely expected and this is the first monthly increase after six months of consecutive declines. However, the PPI fell sharply today by 3.3% by in December, comparing to a decline of 2.7% in November, while the estimates were to rise or to decline sorry, by only 3.1%. And this is the biggest monthly decline since 2012. As for the European session today, uh, there are many economic releases, uh, many economic figures will be released today across the session from uh, Switzerland, Germany, France, and uh, the UK. And these figures may have a notable impact on the markets. However, the impact is likely to be limited and short-lived ahead of the, of the key U.S. jobs report later today uh, during the U.S. session. Beginning with uh, Switzerland, the unemployment rate is expected to remain stable at 3.1%. In December, however, the CPI is expected to dip lower again or decline or to decline by 0.3% in December, comparing to a no change in November, which would be also the biggest monthly decline since July of last year. In Germany, the industrial production is expected to rise by 0.4% in November. However, there is a possibility of a disappointment following a notable decline in the factory orders yesterday. Furthermore, the trade balance deficit is expected to decline slightly toward 19.4 billion euros, down from 20.6 billion euros, which would be also the first surplus decline in almost two months. In France, the industrial production is expected uh, to rise by 0.4% in November after declining by 0.8% in October, which would be also the biggest monthly increase since mid-2014 uh, since mid or since mid last year. Moreover, the French uh, trade, balance is uh, trade balance deficit is expected also to decline uh, slightly toward minus 4.5 billion euros down from 4.6 billion, which would be also the lowest, uh, or the lowest deficit since June of 2014 or since June of last year. In the UK, the manufacturing production may rise by 0.4% in November after a decline of 0.7% in October, while the <coughs> industrial production may rise by 0.2% after a decline of 0.1% during the same period between December and November. Finally, the trade balance deficit in the UK is expected to ease back slightly toward 9.5 billion, down from 9.6 billion, which would be also the lowest deficit in almost two months. Going forward to the key session today, which which is the U.S. session, we will be focusing on two jobs report from Canada and the U.S. was likely to have the major or the biggest impact on the market ahead of the weekend. In the, in the U.S., firstly, the U.S. economy is expected to add 240,000 jobs or new jobs in December, while the unemployment rate is expected to decline slightly toward 5 or toward 5.7, which would be the lowest unemployment rate since 2009. The most important figure for today or in this report is the average earnings as a, a disappointment also or a disappointment. Uh, wages across today is likely to push the US dollar lower even if the non-farm employment change and the unemployment rate came in as expected or even better than expected. Finally, in the UK or, or in Canada, sorry, the economy is expected to add around 10.3 thousand new jobs in December after losing around 10.7 thousand jobs in November. And finally, the unemployment rate is expected to remain stable at 6.6%. We will publish our special monthly report discussing the US jobs report estimates and the expected scenario later today. Follow us on our social media sites, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube to get these reports in addition to the latest economic releases and analysis. This is it for today. You can follow us on our social media sites again, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Have a good day and have a good weekend, and we'll see you once again next week.